For as long as I can remember, I haven't had the best eyesight. Because of this, I've had to wear glasses or contacts in order to be able to read things that are far away or even be able to see letters and words clearly. My world is blurry and unclear when I'm not looking through the right lenses. Literally. Hi, I'm Justice, your spiritual fitness coach, and I want to look at what Jesus says about that. When we have a critical spirit and are so focused on finding the faults in others, Jesus points out that we aren't looking at life through the correct lenses, and we can miss a really important opportunity where Jesus can heal the brokenness in our own lives. In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus begins in verses 1 and 2 and sets the stage with this. Do not judge others, and you will not be judged, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use in judging is the standard by which you will be judged. Jesus wants us to understand that as his followers, it is important for us to treat others the same way that we would like to be treated. No one likes the feeling of being judged or unnecessarily criticized. This can be hurtful and causes us to want to spend less and less time with those that treat us this way. If we want someone to have grace and patience with us, then we are to show the same grace and patience with others. Jesus then continues with a similar analogy. And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying to your friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite. First, get rid of the log in your own eye. Then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. There's a lot to take in here. Now, Jesus isn't trying to make us feel like hypocrites when we read this. What he's trying to explain is that it doesn't make any sense for us to be so critical of others and yet ignore the same or other issues in our own lives. However, he also doesn't want us to feel down on ourselves, thinking that we're always going to have this huge struggle with sin that we'll never get rid of. What he is saying is that when we are so focused on criticizing others, we're missing out on God's transformation in our own lives. When I'm looking to criticize every possible thing I can with others, I'm wasting my thoughts and time and energy and I'm missing out on an important opportunity for God to transform the brokenness in my life. Truthfully, when we look deep down, our struggle with having a critical spirit is not a result of having everything figured out, but because we're actually insecure about our own brokenness and we're looking for a way to make ourselves feel better by telling ourselves, yeah, I have my struggles, but at least I'm not as bad as that person. The reality is true freedom from sin and brokenness comes not from comparing others to ourselves, but by allowing Jesus to heal and forgive the brokenness in our lives. So today, when moments arise that make you want to be critical of others, turn this feeling around and focus on gratitude. Thank God for all the ways He has healed your brokenness and set you free by sending His Son to die on the cross for you. Remember that others are just like you, human. And instead of focusing on what you can be critical of, focus on how you can show kindness and love to them. Now go! and win today.